I oh, I can't remember whether I've ever done a review on this tool or not. One I've had for a long time. It's a Titan pole chainsaw. Um, I'm just about to put its first replacement chain on it since I've had it. So this is actually a very handy tool that I've done a fair amount of work with. And for the money, you really can't uh, complain at how this thing performs. It's got a 750 watt motor. The actual usable length of the uh, the bar is 20 centimetre cutting width. Uh, the thing from sort of roughly in the handle where you're going to be holding it to the tip of the blade is 8 foot 3. Or what's that? Just over 2.6 metres about. Yeah, just a little over 2.6 metres. So you can get a good length of use on it. If you want to get some tree branches. Uh, I was going to get rid of this after the initial job that I'd first bought this to do. But I'm really happy that I decided to hang on to it. So that chain has done an absolute ton of use. It's not cutting too well now. So it's only £10 for um, a new Oregon chain for it. So I'm about to give it a good clean. And uh, just thought I'd do a little video while I'm doing it. So... When it's extended at its full use, as it is at the moment, then obviously the weight is in the motor. So the further out you've got it extended, then the more you feel the weight on your arms. But you can use it at that length. I wouldn't advise having it at that length and being up a ladder. That's when it starts getting a little bit dodgy. But for the size of that chain, you'll be surprised how much work I've done with this at my own home. And I took it to work and done a ton of work there. Uh, they used to sell this at Screwfix. I actually picked it up second hand when I initially got it. Uh, they used to be like £50 at Screwfix. Now, for some reason, they don't seem to sell it anymore, despite selling lots of Titan stuff. So unless Titan themselves have maybe stopped making it. But you might find it somewhere else. They do a McAllister one at Screwfix now, which I think was £55, which basically looks like the same thing. So it's performed really well. Uh, very simple to use. Uh, that's your little uh, tank for filling up the uh, the bar oil into. And I'm about to say, put a new chain on it. So that's definitely giving up the ghost now. That one, it still cuts, but very slowly. So I'm about to do some more work at my own property. So the next tree I'm about to attack is that white birch tree. I'll be able to climb that to a degree and I was thinking while I'm up there rather than cutting really big branches like for instance I'm going to get up get my finger in shot here somewhere oh, there we go I'm going to stand up in that little V section there and then with that change that pole saw I'll be able to reach up and I'll be able to take all that stuff to the left that's not that heavy I'll be able to chop that all down in little bits nice and safe and then eventually I'm going to try and get up this one as well, which is the same tree. See that one arm just breaks off. So I think this will make it a lot safer. So I thought I'd get a nice fresh chain on it so it's going to cut through nice and straightforward for me. All right, I'll put you on pause for a second and I'll grab the tools to uh, take the cover off. All right, very straightforward to open up. you just got an Allen key bolt here. screw at the back here that you use to slacken off the chain a bit. I'll show you that in a bit. straightforward it's just the uh, the drive cog there that you slot your chain around so couldn't be similar to take off so I've not changed the uh, the chain in the whole time I've had this 
I haven't bothered uh, putting a new chain on it. It wasn't cutting great near the end, but it was still cutting. So I do need to be careful with the chains. They are pretty sharp, as you can imagine. Now these bars, see how well I can get this in the shop. You've got a, a slit in here. And all these little lower teeth. They're the dry blinks. They all just drop down into the bar. And that's what they sort of run around. And that's where your, your bar oil goes. Drops down into that groove to uh, lubricate the chain as it's going around. Oops. So that's how that would work. You've got a little screw on the front here, just there. As you adjust that, this bar loose back and forth to loosen or tighten up the chain. So you just go clockwise, is uh, tightening up and bringing this along to pull the bar a bit tighter. So, would be a good idea. I haven't done this one, but I'm going to get something thin uh, to run along there and get all the gunk out of it. I've done it on my uh, petrol chain saw the other day and there's quite a bit of crap sort of builds up in there like so worth giving that a, a bit of a clear out. So very straightforward job just be a case of uh, grabbing a new chain. So yeah. So it's a 20 centimetre cutting width. It's actually obviously the whole bar is longer than that. But you got a good 20 centimetres, so I'll give it a bit of a clean up and then I'll sort the new chain out. So it's worth giving these a, a bit of a clean out. This one actually is not too bad, but I haven't used it a great deal recently. I used it the other week at work just to get a bit of a tricky branch out of a tree at work. Like me, yeah, petrol one, I've been using a fair bit when I opened out all of this, was just like absolutely crammed full of uh, wood. Probably not because I was doing it in the rain, it was uh, probably clogged up a bit more with it being damp wood. So it just helps everything all flow that a little bit better. You think the wood's all coming into this section and getting chucked out the bottom, so it's worth just uh, spending a little bit of time. So yeah, I'd say on the whole, I really would uh, recommend this if you've got a lot of uh, hanging branches or thick bushes, hedgerow and stuff that you like to trim main stems on, then I I really would recommend this tool or similar. So for some reason it doesn't seem to be at screw fix anymore, it was for a long time. So it has got the Oregon uh, bar on this and um, so a low kickback so there's a little chance of it sort of like kicking up like can happen with chainsaws just the way that the teeth are made on that particular bar uh, sorry on that particular chain so a bit to try and get as I found on the other chainsaw when I done it the other day is actually in this groove because obviously that's full of crap then the, the chain's not gonna spin as well as it should do How much we dig out of this? Not too bad. But for all the time it takes, just get a little screwdriver so that will fit in there and just have a run round. It's deeper than you think actually when you put something in there. some crap out of it now I'm getting a bit deeper so, yeah, so it's a very safe way of doing some low hanging branches rather than the risk of going up ladders and things or actually trying to climb the trees which I have done myself but I have bought a little bit of safety climbing gear for doing that, proper tree rope that I know will definitely not be breaking under my weight and a harness so I can secure myself to a branch and let go of my hands and work away. 
uh, over the years I've spent in excess of £2,000 on professional tree work in my garden because I had so many trees. And with what I've got left that I want to do, I'd probably be looking at the same sort of price again. So I've decided I've had enough of that and I'm going to do some myself. So the other thing to watch is these uh, little holes. These are actually where you, I think just a wonder it actually, uh, where your bar oil will go into. So that little hole just up there is where the oil would trickle out of. That's where that hole sits. Yeah, that's it. The bottom holes to go on the adjuster that moves it back and forth, and the top hole sits in that that little channel. So the oil will come out of there and run across this channel, and it will find its find its way into the the hole, which will then run into that groove to keep your chain moving nicely. So yeah, for £50, the McAllister one I just looked at the other day on screw fix that, I think it was £55, I think it was the same, a 20 inch bar. Uh, can't remember the exact extendable length of it, but it's probably going to be similar. It's certainly a lot cheaper than calling someone round to do it for you. That's, uh, that's done. I say, um, Ten pound at screw fix. A new chain. Obviously, it's only it's only a small chain, so not too expensive. I know you see on these there uh, the direction of the the tip of the the cutting tuff at the front. So you've got to make sure they're facing forward, not the back, not back the way. So, and it's just a case of. Lighting it onto your bar. This does cut unbelievably well actually when it's got a decent chain on it. You'll be surprised and we're not talking about just going through little tiny branches like the thickness of your finger. We're talking like the thickness of your arm and I'm going through it no problem at all. I was very surprised when I first used it at just how good it actually cut out before what I was expecting. I do be careful with the chain because obviously the teeth are very sharp. They're a little bit fiddly to do. It's one of them things you're trying to hold it in place and everything all at the same time. So get onto that drive cock. and that screw off a little bit more just helps you get it on like uh, so that's pushing that further back that way it's just uh, give me that little bit more room so you just have to fiddle with it a little bit just to get it to slot on just the way you want it to right, that's on there once you've got it on there, it is best to try and tighten up the tension screw a little bit. Otherwise, if I let go of that now, it'll just it'll just pop back off again. A little bit fiddly. It's what you could do with an extra hand. So, so if you just get a bit of tension on the air screw, then that will help hold us back in place again. that's enough yep so a little bit of tension on the screw and that should hopefully now sit in place so say so your bottom hole a little pin comes through to hold the bar in place that top hole is a little groove that will have the oil coming out of it and say so you're tensioning up that screw it's either pulling the bar forward to put tension on it or it's pushing it back in to loosen it so nice and straightforward so that's a nice new chain on, and then give a couple of quick wipes, not that it's too bad. Uh, 
Uh, the professionals always say is when you're tightening these up is to actually hold the bar up because obviously when you're pushing on it it's being pushed up when you're cutting so that will keep it at the right tension so hold that up as you're adjusting uh, as you can see that chain's got a little bit too much play in it at the moment that would be too loose so Hold it up as you're testing it. Yeah, that's still a bit loose. So now you need to do this up a little bit, but you don't want it too tight, otherwise the, uh, the bar won't move when you're adjusting the screw. Bit fiddly. Turn. Keep that pushed up now. Doing this up properly. See how we're looking. Right. Now that's all done up. That's a little bit too tight now. So. Just a little bit of trial and error. Just back it off a touch. One of them things will just fiddle about a little bit with it, but worth doing it to get it right. Probably about right now, maybe be just a fraction looser, but on the whole, that's not too bad now. You want to be able to pull it up a bit. You can always run it with your hand and see how smoothly. Now, that's no, probably all right, actually. That's not pulling too tightly. It'll probably slacken a little bit after your first use. Probably once you use it for the first time, after a little bit of use, probably worth checking it just in case. Yeah, now I've spun down a few times, and that's actually loosened a touch. Probably sat down on the cog properly now, so you might have to fiddle a little bit, but not too bad. So, just a quick video. So, it's a very good tool, and for like 50 55 pounds for the amount of work you can do with it, you really can't grumble at that. So, looking forward to trying it now with a new chain on. I remember just how well it worked before with a nice chain on it. So, hope it's of some use to you a worthwhile tool if you've got lots of low branches saves the risk of climbing in a tree or dangling perilously off a ladder with a handsaw so that's it from me catch you next time all right just one last little thing i've just compared the old chain and the new chain now that they're on just uh, you know, get this close enough to get a proper look you look at the old the old one and the new one i think you're probably only talking the old chains probably only about half half the size of the new chain because i've filed this chain a few times to sharpen it up which does help it does improve it but you can see that is significantly smaller than the new one so i should definitely see a good difference when it comes to using it A good bit smaller now, so that shows how much it's kind of wore away in the filing that I've done. So I'm expecting a big difference in this now. Looking forward to giving it a go, which will probably be next week sometime. All right, catch you later.